Tucho, heal me with your mouth, Fernandez, has now taken over the office formerly known as the Holy Office. And he has just given his most recent decree, which is, of course, an interview, not in Latin, without any theological distinctions. And, of course, the most pressing issue is homosexual marriages. That and more on the Guild Family Stream. Brother Christ, laudato Jesus Christus in secula. We're coming to you once again for the Guild Family Stream and the uh, the satellite office of Meaning of Catholic. That's right. Uh, there's my father's buck right there once again, uh, taking care of my grand my 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 parents' uh, pet and um, giving my wife some time today with the kids. And uh, I mean, I have the kids. Uh, so we'll see if they pop in here. It's a nice uh, 90 degree day here in pure Michigan. We're loving the heat. And I'm sure everyone in uh, the North America is enjoying it as well. This is an international guild community. And we put money into this so that it can support the people who work for this apostolate. And it can also help us supplement our existing local Catholic communities with an international online community, which is meant to help us truly be a guild. And a guild flows out of a confraternity of prayer. The soul of our apostolate is the Fellowship of St. Anthony, which is a group of lay people offering up penances and prayers for the clergy and seminarians. And the rest of our apostolate all just invokes our lay patrons every day. But the hope is that we can really start to really build an institution here online so that it'll help us build things in the local community. Uh, The most exciting uh, next thing is going to be Mary Queen of the Home Academy, which is going to be an an online homeschool and adult. uh, So it's going to be high school level and adult level formation, various online courses, which are a collaborative effort of various people across the world offering up supplemental educational formation for homeschoolers. So this is going to help, especially Catholics who don't have, who are homeschoolers, but they don't have access to a homeschool co-op where they can really help other, other Catholics can help with that. Um, One of the things we just started. What we're starting this Saturday is the Latin group. That's what I'm really excited about. That's going to be led by Dr. Jennifer Bryson. She's, currently in Vienna right now. And it's really exciting because she's able to actually get the time zone over in the Oceania area, um, Malaysia, uh, Philippines, Australia, New Zealand, and all, all, all of that area, um, which is very difficult for me to get that time zone just because it's 12, 13 hours ahead. So it's difficult to coordinate that. So we're really excited to have Bryson, Dr. Bryson. She's going to be leading the Latin group, the Latin study group, and there will be two of them. The first one will start this Saturday. That'll be 11 a.m. Eastern time. And then there will be another one that'll start in August. And that will be the Oceania region as well. Um, so we're really excited about that. Um, really excited about preserving and studying the Latin language for the sake of the laity. This is parents teaching their kids Latin so that the, the children have some Latin and that they continue to be formed. Uh, and this is the next generation of priests. This is the next generation of theologians. We need to continue to preserve Latin because, uh, unfortunately, this is something that's, uh, it's, um, you know, attacked from Rome itself, unfortunately. I, I just saw today that there's, there's there seems to be one final Roman congregation that is issuing decrees in Latin. And that's the sacred penitentiary. I just saw today the that uh, his holy his holiness granted an indulgence for grandparents' day, July twenty third. I, I didn't even know about this, uh, and, it, and it's a it's a great indulgence. It's just um, going to visit the elderly, the sick, the plenary indulgence on that day, or participating in one of the events on that day throughout the world. Um, but the funny thing is that it was issued in Latin. Um, so if you click on the link. I got it from Catholic Sats um, Twitter account, 
And if you click on the link, it goes to the Vatican website. And it, the decree is in Latin and Italian, but it, it it says original language or Latin language. Or I'm sorry, it says original Latin or Italian language. So it, it can't even bear to say that this is Latin, uh, which is wild. It's there's sort of this anti-Roman bias against the Roman tongue in Rome. That's how much of a wild world we live in. So we're going to talk about that and Tucho Fernandez and all of your other questions, all of your comments, any thoughts, questions, anything you have during the Gill family stream. And uh, if you want that, you can go to meaningofcatholic.com slash register and you can join our guild community, our international community of Catholics against the Marxists and help to build an online institution against the Marxists, which will help support the local community, building that local culture in your parish and your village, your state, your city, your community.